Hey, Jonathan here at Topsaw. Today's video, I'm going to rebuild this storage box for the front of a camper trailer. Um, it's kind of a cool camper trailer. I like this thing, perfect size. Um, this plastic box up front is kind of falling apart. I'm going to rebuild it with wood and then put a, I guess, a pocket on the top so I could drop a steel toolbox in the top of that. So this holds both propane and battery. It is not watertight doesn't need to be watertight but i'd also like to be able to get a generator on there as well and a gas can so i'm going to build a wooden box here and then a steel box will fit on top of that to hold those pieces so kind of my theory here is that red plastic cover is all breaking and falling apart kind of irreplaceable I'm going to replace that red box with a wooden box and then I want a top shelf in it. I think I'd build the whole thing out of wood, but I think instead is I'll build a wooden box that'll receive that trailer hitch box. So that trailer hitch box actually worked out to be about just the perfect shelf size. It'll be water sealed. It'd be nice if my generator could fit in there and a gas can and then propane and battery in there. I'm gonna use three quarter inch ply to build a wooden box and then have this black steel box drop inside of it. Just getting my cut sorted out, I measured this black box here and then I made it an inch and a half long here. This angle is 65, so I cut the complement of that at 25 on the test board and it'll sit like that. So I think those will work. Here I am just cutting up my stock the front and back are not going to have bevel cuts on them. So that's the front board. And then there's my back board. And then I'm going to bevel my blade now to that 25 degrees. It's a little bit under. Um, find that length. I'm going to take this off cut right here and just cut it right down the middle. Because I want to hold it in there to measure it. So I'm going to use both of those bevels. Hold it in there. I want to get it as flush on there as possible to lay it down and then I mark it and then I extend that line all the way up and now this one is a parallelogram right yeah so these two are parallel cuts I am going to throw away a couple inches off of this board um, but it's going to work out to be pretty close to the full 8 foot by 21 inches just taking a hair more off that I know they're the right size, I can match the two together. It's my dog Coco getting in the mix there. So now I have the two boards cut on the same fence setting, the two opposing pieces of that trapezoid. Um, so now I'm, I'm going through the end grain of the plywood. You know, I'm going through the plywood. All I'm trying to do here is hold it together rather than clamp it. So I'm just gonna hold it with a few screws to make sure I fit. No matter how much measuring I do, it always turns out that until you actually hold it up and see if it fits or not. So I just have four screws in it, basically just to hold it in place um, while I test to see if it fits. Getting a student to help me there. And you can see it doesn't fit. It's off by like a quarter inch. All right, so there's the box. I just put a couple screws in, kind of basically clamp it to make the steel box fit. Then there will be a lip put in on the inside and then that steel box will sit inside of this and it'll sit on that lip and then inside inside this box will be the propane and the battery with no bottom in it and maybe no back in it depending on how it comes in and then that black box will go on top and then in that black box will be a spare can of gas and a generator so that'll all fit in that black box that'll go on top. And then when you need to get to the propane to replace it, you'd have to pull out the black box to get to the propane and the battery. There'll be reach screws in the back, so you could reach in and turn the propane on and off and disconnect the battery. And then the way I'm gonna lock the black box on here is I'll have a bolt go through here through the black box with just a pin inside the locked black box. Okay, since I screwed it up, 
it's like a quarter inch too tight I'm starting to cut my support boards that are going to go inside and I'm going to screw through the plywood to get into this um, hardwood so these hardwoods is actually I think mostly alder and poplar they're off cuts from wood that I milled uh, I'm cutting that 22 or 25 degree inch bevel on there and then to measurement length and that's going to be a trapezoid that goes in like that I actually cut that support block you know maybe a half inch long so that it'll push those edges out um, and you can see I'm trying to get it to see if it'll fit but I think with that support block in there just at the right length a little bit longer than where it is screwed together it'll be both a support block a block for the rest for the black toolbox and it'll help me make it so that the black box will fit in I'm hoping that makes sense with the compass here I'm drawing a semicircle on there that'll be the reach through the propane cutting it out on the bandsaw I want to make sure it's plenty large enough to get my hand in there so I could turn the propane off on one side and then turn the battery or disconnect the battery matching pieces so I take the cut out, I measure up, put it in the same place, trace it, and then I cut the other semicircle out. And since I'm reaching through here, I want these to be pretty smooth. So what I'm doing is I'm going to sand it. This is an oscillating spindle sander just to kind of clean it up a little bit, take out some of the irregularities and to smooth it up. I'll wait till the whole box is done to do a good finish sanding. And then from the oscillating spindle sander to a round over bit on the router so all these edges are nice and smooth so when I reach in I don't get cut at all okay I have those cutouts for my arms kind of a test reaching in there I guess I'll have to come around the front and put my arm through there because that'll be against the trailer now I'm putting in that support block centering it and then it's actually going to be a little bit wider than it needs to be and that'll push those plywood sides uh, further away so that the black box will fit into it. This is the only part I'm actually going to glue. The rest of it's all been screwed so far, so I could take it all home, double check everything, unscrew it, glue all of my joints, and then screw it back together. I'll also paint it probably while it's all apart as well, especially to cover up all the end grain in the plywood. Putting in a bottom support there, but because it's a little off out of the trapezoid, I'm going to have to clamp it to pull it in nice and tight on that block down below. So there it is. And now I've pushed it apart, you know, maybe that half inch, quarter inch on each side. And then I have that support block on the bottom there. Okay, so I have that top rib and support in there. My dog Coco. I'm dropping the black box in and it's actually it's a pretty good fit not perfect I'm gonna cut a few more ribs and put them in both on the bottom and the top to make sure um, I have something to bolt the, to the frame and that it's really solid you know that black box if it had a small generator and it's gonna be really heavy as well just realize the propane is not gonna fit luckily I have a spare tank in the back room so I grab it and I could see, yep, not gonna fit in there. So the ribs are gonna have to, the front rib's gonna have to come out and get turned up on edge. And then the back rib, I'm gonna have to use a jigsaw and cut an arc out of it to make sure the propane bottle will be able to fit down from the top. Inevitably, this always seems to happen, no matter how much planning you do, uh, there's always a few pieces I seem to forget until I actually touch it and, and try and put it together. So here I am just cutting a little bit of an arc um, out of that support board with the jigsaw. It's not going that well. It's, it's a pretty thick board and the blade's super dull. Um, one nice thing is I do discover all of the tools in the shop that need to get geared up and fixed um, for when the students come back in the fall. So now I have that piece out I'll do a retest with the propane, drops in there pretty nicely, so that's good to okay, go. Okay, so there's the box there. This is so I could reach through and grab the battery, disconnect it if I had to, reach through, turn the propane on and off. There's a 
edges for the toolbox to rest on with my cutout for the propane tank. Glad I thought of that. But I know there's a million things I did not think of. So I think I'm done for here. I'll take it home from here and then um, put it on the trailer and see. All right, well, looking at it now, it actually looks a little bit different than I remembered it before building the box. I think first thing I, I'll do is take the propane and the battery completely out, and disconnect them, and then take this red box off. Just a few bolts here and there on it. Can't see them in there. They're actually even sheet metal screws. So let me start with that. So there's a regulator right there. I guess I could just unscrew it, fish it through, and mount it in the back of that box. It might be a little too crowded, so I was thinking I might just use the jigsaw and cut a big hole out the back, but try and leave the majority of it in. You kind of see how the box is going to look like that right there. I decided to keep the propane regulator on the front of the trailer and not mount it in the box. So then I'm going to use my Festool Carvex uh, to cut out a hole in the back of the box and then just push it straight up to the trailer. Uh, this is actually a super cool jigsaw. I got pretty recently. I'll put a link to a review on this jigsaw if you're interested. Um, I'm cutting you know, the window a little too big. The, the back isn't really to keep it buttoned up from weather, it's really just to give it stability. So I have that back pocket cut out and now I'm trimming up that back rib just so that the propane could come in and out easily. So I think this is this will just about do it. Alright, so getting late, it's kind of working night. Uh, the box actually does fit in there pretty well. That metal cage is on the inside, everything fits inside. Let me go get that black box. Alright, next day. Looks Looks good in the light. Uh, still got a few last things to do. Paint it. Um, put the locks in for the box down. But actually it works great. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'd like to hear your comments below. If anybody had a better idea to do it than this way. I'd like to hear them below. Uh, hit like and subscribe if you like these kinds of videos. This is Top Saw. All things wood from tree work to woodwork.